Apple recently announced iOS 16, which is expected to be available for download this fall. And in this video, we're gonna go over its top new features, starting with the lock screen. Apple completely reimagined the lock screen on iOS 16, allowing you to showcase your favorite photos, customize font styles, and display a set of widgets to get information at a glance. Those widgets can be weather, calendar events, date, time zones, alarms, battery level, activity ring progress, and more. Also, you can now create different lock screens, each with a unique backdrop and style, and you can easily switch between them. Notifications have been rearranged so that you can view them on the lock screen in an expanded list view, stacked view, or hidden view. And notifications appear at the bottom of the screen so they stay out of the way. Live activities makes it easier to stay on top of things that are happening in real time, so you can check the score of a game or track the progress of your food delivery without unlocking your device. Next is Focus. iOS 16 introduces a new streamlined setup for Focus that allows you to select the apps and people you want to receive notifications from. You can connect your lock screen to your Focus so the look and feel of your iPhone matches how you want to use it in the moment. With a swipe, you can go from one focus to another. Focus Filters allows you to keep out distracting content in your everyday apps. Next is Photos. iCloud Shared Photo Library is the best way to share photos with your family. Everyone has permissions for adding, editing, and deleting photos in the library, so if one person organizes the collection, everyone benefits. Also, there are smarter ways to share. You can choose what's included in the library based on a start date or based on the people in the photos. You can also share photos instantly right from camera, choose to share automatically when other shared library members are nearby, and receive smart suggestions. Messages has been enhanced, allowing you to edit a message you just sent or unsend a recent message. And you can mark a message as unread if you can't respond in the moment and want to come back later. You can watch your favorite shows or listen to music with friends while chatting about it in messages. Shared playback controls ensure that you're always synced up. And now you can share projects and messages to start collaborating instantly. See updates and easily get in touch with your collaborators from within the app. Mail has an improved search feature, which delivers more accurate and complete results and provides suggestions before you even start typing. Also, you can undo a sent message, schedule a message, follow up, and add rich links. Safari allows you to sign in more safely with pass keys, and shared tab groups allows you to bookmark, send messages, and start FaceTime right from Safari. Whether you're planning a trip with friends or shopping for a couch with your partner, you can share all the tabs in one place, and when they find something great, they can add tabs too. Live text now works for images. You can actually lift a subject from an image and remove the background, then share the isolated image in messages, mail, and more. Also, live text now works for video. You can pause a video on any frame that contains text to use familiar interactions like copy, translate, look up, share, and more. Apple Pay and Wallet allows you to track your orders and view your receipts all within the app. Also, if you have a virtual ID, you can use it to verify your identity in select apps. And Apple Pay Later allows you to split the costs of your Apple Pay purchases into four payments over six weeks with no interest or fees. Maps finally added support for multi-stop routing, and new transit cards allows you to see the total cost of your trip and pay for it all without leaving the app. New family sharing features allows you to manage your child's accounts much easier. You can create accounts for children with parental controls right from the start. You can set preferences for age-appropriate media, screen time, location, and more. And screen time requests from your kids now appear in messages, so it's easy to approve or decline a request. You can now use Quick Start and your existing device to easily set up a new iPhone or iPad for your child with all the appropriate parental controls already in place. And Family Checklist gives you helpful tips to get the most out of family sharing, like updating children's settings as they get older or turning on location sharing iOS 16 also introduces privacy and security enhancements like rapid security response and safety check, which helps people in domestic or intimate partner violence situations to review and reset access they've granted to others. 
Home is completely reimagined in iOS 16. It's rebuilt to be more efficient. You can navigate all your smart home devices in the redesigned Home tab, and new categories for climate, lights, security, and more let you access relevant accessories with just a tap. And a multi-camera view allows you to see four different camera shots at the same time. And now that Apple fully supports the Matter standard, you can choose and connect even more smart home accessories. The next generation of CarPlay has finally been revealed. It brings a fully integrated, immersive iPhone experience to not only your vehicle's center console, but also its lower and dashboard screens. New vehicles supporting this new generation of CarPlay are expected to be announced in late 2023. So those are iOS 16's top new features, and this is Greg with Apple Explained. Thanks for watching till the end, and I'll see you in the next video.